this is Hank on the bass and I'm Rex and uh, we've been practicing lots and lots of songs and getting them all right so we knew them without any music or anything like that and then we uh, called Shane and we gathered that we couldn't do most of the ones we wanted because they weren't out of copyright. So this is one that we've managed to rescue because it was done in 1928 and uh, so it's well in the public domain now and it's called Making Whoopi. Another bride, another groom, another sunny honeymoon, another reason, another season for making whoopee. A lot of shoes, a lot of rice, the groom is nervous, he answers twice, it's really killing that he's so willing to make whoopee. Picture a little love nest Down where the roses cling Picture that same sweet love nest And think what a year can bring He's washing dishes and baby clothes He's so ambitious, he even sews But don't forget folks, that's what you get folks for making whoopee Another year Or maybe less What's this I hear? What well, can't you guess? She feels neglected That he's suspected Of making whoopee She sits alone Most every night He doesn't phone her He doesn't write He says he's busy she says, is he? He's making whoopee. He doesn't make much money, only 5,000 per. Some judge who thinks he's funny says you'll pay six to her. He says, now judge, suppose I fail. The judge says, budge. Right in a jail, you better keep her. I think it's cheaper than make a whoopee. You'd better keep her. I think it's cheaper than making whoopee. But the next one uh, is a song I wrote for the Caddy Caddy Murals competition. The folk club in Caddy Caddy ran a competition for the song relating to the mural. And that's the one I chose. It's called Overload. It regard, it's regarding a service car, which was the old form of sort of luxury limo taxi that went from uh, one town to another in about the 1920s. And Les Hume uh, used to apparently run this car and it's had seats for eight, and in the end he fitted 21 on board, which is what you see on the uh, mural there. So, anyway, this is it. In the days when cars were rare, causing folks to stand and stare, the service cars had great renown, Moving folks from town to town Never turn a rider down Somehow they get you there Well there was Grandma Fogarty Old Mrs. Doherty Sarah Jane and Mary Lou Sitting in the back was the Reverend MacDonald Off to preach a sermon or two There were four on the hood Four on the running boards and two Guards too. And sitting on the bonnet was Charlie Boy from Athen recalling the directions through. Les Hume had a service car and he was really quite a star. His car had only seats for eight, but he would never make folks wait. 
Even though it made him late, he'd get them on somehow. Well, there was Grandma Fogarty, old Mrs. Doherty, Sarah Jane and Mary Lou. Sitting in the back was the Reverend MacDonald, off to preach a sermon or two. There were four on the hood, and four on the running boards, and two on the mud guards too. And sitting on the bonnet was Charlie Boy from Athens, recalling the directions through. He started out in Caddy Capitan, and legend says that then. When he got to the turn for Athenry, there were people wanting to go to Waihe. He hated to disappoint, so you see, he crammed them all on board. Well, there was Grandma Fogarty, old Mrs. Doherty, Sarah Jane and Mary Lou. Sitting in the back was the Reverend MacDonald, off to preach a sermon or two. There were four on the hood, and four on the running boards, and two on the mud guards too. And sitting on the bonnet was Charlie Boy from Athens, recalling the directions through. If you didn't sit inside the car, you had to hang on like a bird. But the fare was cheap, cause when the hills got steep, or it rained a lot and the mud was deep, you had to get off and earn your keep by pushing the car on through. Well, there was Grandma Fogarty, old Mrs. Doherty, Sarah Jane and Mary Lou. Sitting in the back was the Reverend MacDonald, off to preach a sermon or two. There were four on the hood, and four on the running boards, and two on the mud guards too. And sitting on the bonnet was Charlie Boy from Athens recalling the directions through. Today most folks have a car, and they drive it near and far. They don't think about the fuel they burn, or will their grandkids have their turn? The ancient sunlight that they burn is warming up the earth. But there was Grandma Fogarty, old Mrs. Doherty, Sarah Jane and Mary Lou. Sitting in the back was the Reverend MacDonald, off to preach a sermon or two. There were four on the hood, and four on the running boards, and two on the mud guards too. And sitting on the bonnet was Charlie Boy from Athens recalling the directions through. Yes, sitting on the bonnet was Charlie Boy from Athens recalling the directions through. The ultimate in uh, carpooling, really. A song I wrote. Uh, I was lucky enough to be able to go to Bermuda quite a few times because I used to used to fly for a living. So uh, I had some very good friends in Bermuda and they suggested I go on this walk up to a place called Wreck Hill, which is where the locals used to build fires to lure sailing boats onto the reefs and then collect all the cargo and kill the survivors and so on. So it's a pretty nasty place in some ways, but absolutely stunningly beautiful on a nice day. You're up on the hill looking down over the water, and it's lovely. So anyway, I wrote this song there. On the edge of the island, looking down at the clear blue sea, Sitting here in the sunshine I wish you were here with me Far below on the ocean The boats they come and go But I sit here alone And think of you
sitting here on the hilltop you can reach out and touch the peace butterflies all around me and the hum of the murmuring bees will the light that I see now be a beacon for my soul or a fire from the wreckers to dash me on life's reeks Tiny island Bermuda But you still have the space to breathe And I wish I could stay here but I know that I have to leave But I'll be back soon And I don't care if it rains Cause the sun shines from the hearts of everybody here next one I wrote as a sort of antithesis to all the codependent uh, love songs that are around the place. So everybody's got to stay together and sort of never change and sort of just be there. And uh, if not, everybody gets very jealous and sort of, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, this is uh, about unconditional love, basically. Be forever free. Yes, thank you. I will be. <laughs> We say I love you What we really mean is I want that you be around We say I love you What we really mean Is I want you to be mine But when I say I love you What I really mean I want you to be happy I want you to be free Whether Throughout the ages And all really say the same to Be with me, be mine Let's stay like this forever Never learn, never grow, never change This song's for you, my love Sings a different tune Never mind forever with me Be forever free This song's for you, my love Sings a different tune Never mind forever with me Be forever free Still 